welcome to Cadwell Park, CRMC, round three of the championship. We've just turned up. Massive queues to get in. Can't get in till half five, so we've got three hours. Um, so, kettle on, have a brew and wait. In preparation for the Cadwell Pike race weekend, Ted was designing and testing many exhaust types on the Craven Honda. This was keeping really busy with the bike prep right up until the day before we packed up and left to drive to the circuit. There was also the usual prep to complete the bikes such as chain cleaning and relubrication. Additionally, we had a fairing screen to fit as a certain someone was making a return to racing after a full season away. So, we've got to somehow past three hours. So what I've planned is, if you come up here with me. I've set up a uh, little sleeping quarters on the roof of the truck. A little bit dirty up here, take the day giving it a wash, but we're gonna have a sleep. There's been some bikes going past. Lovely way to spend an afternoon. So, finally, the sun's come out, and special guest rider for the weekend's turned up Mike Cooper and family, obviously. Good morning here from Cadwell Park CRMC round three. Bikes have been scrutineered, I'm signed on, clothing checked, uh, just getting ready to go for noise testing then out into first practice. Just uh, just checked all the tyre pressures on the bikes. Mike's just been out on the Norton on his first practice, so uh, got to get helmet on, gloves on, ready to go. Quick update from this morning, um, went out on the TZ in the first practice, I had to run the pistons and rings in a little bit, Ted said take it easy for a couple of laps, lap two I bring them in, there was a thunderstorm and the track was absolutely swamped out with water, not ideal, uh, so all the practices after that and qualifying was wet. We were straight off the TZ onto the K4 and that had basically a dry tyre in the back so it was greasy and dicey, it was just spinning up everywhere. Had a massive moment coming out of the hairpin, uh, threw me out of the seat, landed back on the bike somehow, uh, ran down the grass all the way into barn. So I was like, ooh, uh, brown trouser moment. Uh, yeah, the rest of the practice of qualifying was, didn't go well, just didn't find any good rhythm in the wet. Uh, qualified like just inside the top 10. So fingers crossed this afternoon it dries out and um, we'll get some good races and get out there. So we've been trying to make decisions on tyres, what to put on, what to use, and we're in the tyre shack at the moment, in the back of the truck, with our vast array of different tyres, having a look through, see what we're going to use. We've gone for a bit of a different one on the K4, hoping we can get enough uh, heat into it. The idea is that it'll work in the wet, and then if it dries up a little bit, it should still have better grip than one of the storms and not tear up too much. So we'll try that. I've left the TZ with what's on it. We we'll go again this afternoon. So I've just finished the first two races. Uh, 
TZ race back to back with the uh, 350 race on the Honda so it was straight in after the TZ race and jump on the Honda back to the assembly area and out again warm work it's very muggy here today um, races went well uh, P2 on the TZ um, after starting 17th on the grid so uh, worked my way back up uh, through at the front uh, getting more and more confident with the bike round here at Cadwell now it's drying out uh, K4 race started 8th so again I have to work my way through to the front uh, and then got a P2 in class with that so now the team are just uh, busy beavering away getting the bikes ready for the next two races of the day let's take a look oh it's back at the tailbox sorry oh yeah I tried this tyre out, it was uh, interesting. TZ Club race just now. Um, we were running in second place, fighting for the lead, Van Hart. Uh, the fairing snapped off though, and the uh, the clutch basket started sort of uh, wearing away and loads of metal filings flying about. So, got the bike to the end, strong second place, showing some good pace. Now it's dried out here at Cadwell. Uh, Ted's currently just repairing the clutch. Let's go and see what he's doing with that. Angle grinders out and all. Yeah, I've all material off one side of one of the plates and it's one that goes at back that I've got chamfered off to it. Well, that'd be why those iron filings coming yeah, out then. that's what it's all from, yeah. I, I could see it on the line and I thought, hmm, yeah. is it iron, it's really like a little mist. Yeah, yeah. Right, I've already tied one of the other one to put it on. I like that. Ted said, don't film that, it's not safe. This is the first time this has ever happened in my life. We said you'd be better off going and seeing Dom Herbertson, but I'll see. I'm quite, ner first. quite nervous now, really, to be fair. There you go. Now. <laughs> We've had a uh, hectic morning, really. We were out on the uh, TZ first race, uh, went well, uh, got a second place again, and then straight back in, out on the K4 in the race after. So we had a bit of a uh, testing weekend here with the K4. Um, not just been quite on song, we've had to try some exhaust systems on it, try and get it under noise regulations. So uh, this is uh, the system Ted spent two weeks making, basically, since Pembury. Uh, problem is it's lost a little bit of its top end uh, so this morning we put one of the old pipes back on just to see if that brought it back so we've got a nice nice odd mix of exhaust on it look look uh, it brought back some power uh, it was running running better and stronger in the race this morning but fortunately it uh, gave up the ghost at the end of the start finished straight just I you know, just feel it's starting to nip up a little bit so I pulled the clutch in and I thought I'd just coast aside a track before it does any more damage to the bike it's just really not worth it uh, Try and get it ready uh, before Castle Coombe now. <laughs> So 
the uh, ACU 750 Post Classic race, uh, we're out with the TZ, um, had a really good run in, crap start, uh, started 14th on the grid after the wet qualifying yesterday, so uh, got away pretty poorly, still can't set off with these two strokes, um, made my way through the pack. strong race, came away with some laurels, a nice little trophy and a hat, which currently sat on the uh, decommissioned K4. We're the camera crew for this weekend at Cadwell Park. Let's get her trained up. We'll do a pro in no time. 